Okay sweeps, I'm going to show you my collection. First of all, here are my CDs. Hey look who it is. Tears of Fears. Childhood favourite. Here's the heavy rock stuff. Leopard, Sabbath, Zep, more Leopard. Oh yeah. Status Quo. Back when they were more sort of harder rock. And of course, Motorhead, more ACDC. Alice in Chains. Michael Jackson, that's not exactly heavy rock, but uh I do like some of his songs, I'll admit. Nirvana, more Alice in Chains. Jimi Hendrix, more Black Sabbath. The Cult. Oh yeah, Gillen. Yeah, Gillen, these albums of his are well good. Show them to you. That's the last album he did before going back to, I think, no that's the last album he did before he um, basically um, joined Black Sabbath and then a year later he joined Deep Purple, that was 84. This is the last album he did as, you know, under with his band Gillen. It's a good album this. Good solid hard rock. There's the man himself. Hmm. Should be an extra disc here. Yeah. Uh. It's all one disc. Yeah, Ian Gillen. A lot of people think he was the best singer for Deep Purple. Probably was. Coverdale was good, but Gillen was like, you know. I think the music was better when he was the singer. Good drawing this. Positive review for the album here. Gillen, is this the end? It certainly was, back in 1982. Alright. Two albums here, Naked Thunder and Toolbox. Chikazoo was from his like sort of non-hard rock era. But that, that is the best, that is the best one out of the lot, that is a Toolbox. That's one of his best ever albums, proper, pure, heavy, hard rock man. Toolbox from 1991. Sure, he could do well without Deep Purple. There's the man. Well, that's it.
Another childhood favourite of mine. Our Wolf. Season 1 was excellent, Season 2 was good, Season 3 was good as well. Season 3 did have, its, have a, sort of very, some very dark moments. They were reminiscent of season one. But season one was the best, easily. This was the best one, easily, man. And of course, this is from um, a very violent, gritty action film. Would you believe this was from the director of the pilot episode of Starsky and Hutch? How cool is that, eh? How cool is that, man? Huggy Bear was in this one as well. Played a very ill-fated character in it, though. Stingray, the one I told you about. Very good series, you know, it's a pity it didn't last longer, but it was good for what it was. It was good. SWAT! The season of the series 1 DVD is downstairs. This is season 2. Ah, uh, the Fall Guy. The unknown stuntman who makes Eastwood look so fine. Formerly known as the Six Million Dollar Man. It's a pity they didn't release the rest of the seasons, because they did a third, fourth and fifth season. But I used to watch this a lot when I was a kid. I used to love it. Lots of action, stunts and humour. Plus Heather Thomas, of course. This is Gangsters, you know, from the 1970s. I haven't watched this in ages. Good series, first series was good, second was a bit crap to be honest. But the pilot episode of this, which was known as a play, which was a play for today basically, that was very, very good. It was like a Get Carter, but only this time it was set in Birmingham. And the main guy, instead of being a gangster, he was actually an XSAS man, 
who'd just come out of prison for killing a gangster. So, yeah, pretty good, isn't it? The late Morris Colborne in the centre. He was the one who played John Rutter in that classic Strangers episode. I remember you really liked the action sequence in that one, didn't you? From Armed and Dangerous, yeah, the shootout between Bullman and those guys. Yeah, I liked it as well, man. As you know, I saw this one recently. Another good series from that classic era, the 70s. Hey, look who we have here. Who are these guys? Oops. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Well, they'll be, they'll be coming out on Blu-ray soon, won't they? Uh, looking forward to that. Danger Man. And of course, yep. Here's the show that I don't think you'll ever get into. But I thought it was a pretty good show for what it was. Had quite a lot of humour in it, even if it was a bit non-PC. She's a bit of a beauty, isn't she? <laughs> Another Patrick McGowan series, right there. The Incredible Hulk. Iron Maiden, Thin Lizzy. Don't know if you ever heard of the Pink Panther, but these films used to be really funny. Peter Sellers, he was really, really funny. Proper funny guy. And of course, we've got here a Stallone classic. Blu ray as well. Remember when I posted those clips on Vimeo, like using my old mobile phone camera? Yeah, I had to take them off, unfortunately. But yeah, I'd say this is definitely one of his best action films, easily. Definitely. Let's have a look. Hmm. Stallone. Cliffhanger. And of course, look what we got here. Here's a mutual favourite of ours. I haven't watched this for a while, but yeah. Still like McGill. I think he's still the man. More Heavy Rock Sabbath, Sabbath, Gillen Let's see what else we've got here The Sweeney Unmistakably The Man from Uncle And of course Robocop Pot man, pot machine, oh cop. Very nice packaging and design, eh? 